What's up guys, XHourWeek Kiwis here and welcome back to another video. First of all, thank you for being here and choosing to click on the video. If you could of course leave a like, comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already, then that would be very much appreciated. So today I'm going to be completing the new Europa League Henrik Mkhitaryan card. Um, first of all, I've played my first five games of squad battles, the four and the feature squad. Done that on stream earlier today. We'll be streaming again about 3 o'clock UK time tomorrow if anybody wanted to come and check that out. Um, I should be, I'll be top 10 after the next few games. Uh, it could be top 5, maybe even first if I play well. But yeah, had a stream earlier today that went well. And I stopped at gold 1 in foot champs this week. I mean, gameplay was horrendous. I had lag in so many of them. But um, yeah, I'll bring I'll be bringing that video out Thursday with the foot, uh, division rival rewards as well. But today I'm just going to be completing the Mictarian. I'll show you the team and players that I've used, and then go and open the packs. So the first one that I'll show you is the 83 rated squad. Um, you need one Shakhtar player that I have Tyson in the club for. Two team of the week, who I had Hilton and went and bought this goalkeeper for 11.5k. Um, went and bought the Champions League card for 1.9k and then just used players in my club. Um, Falcao was expensive, I had to go and buy for 9k or something, 9.7k, but all the other players were in my club. This one's easy, one league you can go and use, um, 80 chemistry is easy. I've got loyalty on some players, but I don't, you shouldn't need loyalty for this one. Even if you copy my team, I don't think you need loyalty at all, so that's fine for that. 83 rated teams, pretty easy at the minute, and yeah, that one's pretty simple, and you get a 50k pack for that, the hard, the easiest one to do, you somehow get a 50k pack for, but um, as we get into the next one, I don't want to open the packs yet, I want to open them at the end, as we go into the Borussia Dortmund one, so this one you need one Dortmund player, I've used Goethe, um, I've played him for 5 games since I've done him, he's never going to start for him, he doesn't get the right links, and to be honest, medium medium um, for a cam isn't great where I play him. He's not good enough for a centre mid, to be quite honest. He's got good stats, but he just won't get in my team. I actually went and bought Neuer as well for like 49k, 49.7k. Because most players that are like 85, 86 rated, or at least like 15, 20k now anyway. So it's actually cheaper in my eyes to just go out and buy the 190 rated player and get the rating up that way. I've used a red card that's never going to get used, and then just Spanish players. I think this guy was in my club already. Oh no, I went and bought him for 12k, so cheap as anything there. But um, yeah, this one was a bit harder. Max 4 nationalities wasn't easy, so I just decided to go for the German and the Spanish with these two random ones here. Well, I say random, Turkish and Morocco, is it maybe? Something like that. It is Morocco. Uh, yeah, so four nationalities in easy, Bundesliga 5, one team of the week. I'll show you how much I paid players for, or if they were first owner. Wrong way, 12k first owner, 1.2 I went and bought him for, 2.8 I bought him as well, and then the rest of first owner, and Garcia was 850. So, do you need chemistry on this one? You will need chemistry on a few players on this one, but there's always ways around it, like you can move players around here and there to get chem, but... Yeah, you'll need loyalty if you're copying the way that I've done it there. But we get a rare mega pack for that, which is a 55k pack, which aren't that bad this year, actually. We'll go back again. Oh, I actually do need to go to the transfer list quickly. I only need to grab one player. I'd usually stop the video and just come back with the team, but I only need one player, so there's no point. And he should be here, because I got Neuer again for this one. Again, as I've said, the high-rated players are expensive anyway, so you may as well just go and get a really high-rated guy and make it all the same. So back to Mictarium. Premier League squad. This one's going to be a bit harder. I had um, Bellerin and Herrera in the club. I bought Herrera yesterday for 900 coins. Uh, he's not gone up a lot. Socrates I had to go out and buy for 9.3k. He was like I sold one yesterday for like 8.5 typically. Which would of course happen. But yeah 9k is not much difference. I don't mind that much. As I go and chuck Neuer back in here. Um, Coman left mid, he's untradeable for me, he's played quite a lot of games actually, 61, but I've got better super subs to use now, so not really going to use him. 
Brahimi hasn't played a game for me. He's never going to get a game. So I went Liga Noft because, as I said, I've got Brahimi as a high rating. And then I did have quite a few 83s. You'll see here, Dost, Felipe, Bruno, Fernandez. Um, I didn't need them because I used Neuer in the end. I don't know why my uh, record keeps coming up in the top left corner when I do SBCs. I can't get that to disappear for some reason. But yeah, once I added Neuer and Socrates, you don't need high ratings with Brahimi as well. Just players in my club, 79, 80 there. Komen an 84 and then Sane is an 81 there. So 49k for Neuer that time. First owner, 9.3k. First owner on the rest. And then, as I said, I bought Herrera yesterday, but he's cheap as anything as well. So that one's a lot harder. Harder to get the links as well. But yeah, mega pack for that, which isn't a great pack. Not as good as the other two, considering that one's probably the hardest to do. But we then get our Henrik Mkhitaryan who's actually got pretty nice boosts. I think he's got like a four boost on shooting, five on passing or something like that. Either way, I know he's got decent sized boosts and Arsenal are going to at least get through the group to get at least one upgrade. We're going to get to the final. Simple as that. I'm an Arsenal fan. Final's coming. He'll get like at probably like 123 rated card when he goes and scores that trick in the final as well. But yeah, five star weak foot as well. I'm actually going to look at playing in right centre mid. He's medium, medium as well as far as I'm aware. Uh, as I said, five star weak foot, which is huge on this game. Four star skill moves, which is nice, of course. Um, I'm interested to see what his shooting is because his finishing, his finishing sorry, was only 76 beforehand. So 5'10 as well, which is a good height. His finishing's not been boosted much, actually. Shot power's high. His long shots and finishing aren't great. Considering that he's actually got a decent shot in real life, I thought they'd be a lot better than that, especially his long shots. His long pass isn't high either, which I thought would be higher. Good acceleration. Um, good attack positioning. Vision's good. Agility's really nice. Stamina's good as well, which can't complain about. But yeah, going to try him in centre mid. His defending stats definitely might let him down a bit. But I need a right centre mid at the minute, so why not give him a go? So as I go and open the packs, free in store, can I pack something good? Haven't packed anything good in ages. So we get the mega pack, can I get a walkout? I've been doing more upgrade packs on stream today, can't pack anything. Them two player upgrade packs are so bad. I've opened about 30 in the last two days. Oh, is that Coleman again? That's not bad. I've got about... Um, three boards and like 30 packs in the last two days they're so bad also i've been playing a few squad battles games today with a patch um let's just say does a patch ever actually make this game better they were meant to um stop the random like 180 turn first time finesses they haven't really stopped that and the only thing that I've noticed majorly, which is disappointing, is they've changed the LB fake shot. That was really OP on squad battles. No walkout again. Yeah, the LB fake shot on squad battles was really OP. And now it doesn't work anywhere near as well. So we don't get a board there. Um, somebody asked me if I've completed the uh, Alonso and Milinkovic Savic SBC. I've done the Savic SBC off stream. Didn't pack anything. And then i done the 100k pack for Alonso last night and got an 82 as my best rated player from a 100k pack. An 82 Trippier from the 100k pack. Sunday night I got an 83 Benega from the Ultimate pack. People that tell me packs are good on this game are just liars. And of course again I don't get a walkout. Can I get anything? I don't even get a board there. So the 50k pack and the 55k pack don't even get a board. My pack luck this FIFA has been horrendous the last month and a half or so. But of course let me know down in the comments whether you think this SBC is worth it. It's at least 150k to complete so I'm not sure to be honest. Like His finishing stats aren't great, his defensive stats aren't great. I've done it for the video and I needed a right centre mid anyway. But at this precise moment I wouldn't say it's worth it personally. Especially after them packs as well. But yeah, let me know what you think, and of course, if you've packed anything good, then of course let me know in the comments down below. But I really appreciate you guys being here. If you could, of course, leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't already, then that would be very much appreciated. That's going to be the end of the video for me, guys. Thanks for watching.